Hi YouTube fans, I'm back. This is going to be movie idea number three. Remember I kind of elaborated on it in the last video. Still in the van, moving these scooters, volunteering. That's what I do. All around West LA. UCLA, Chateau, this area, Santa Monica, all this area right here. We're starting to just drive around and pick up these scooters and move them in their spots, you know. I volunteer my time, you know, trying to learn how to be a fleet manager, I guess. Anyways, movie idea number three, and that was where we were coming into the churches and criminals. And... Okay, so in this movie idea, remind you, this is only for creative creativity purposes, okay? In the movie idea, there's a world, a sick world that's run by religion, uh, a lot of like church people, you know, and, and they're just so animated on it, locking people up and, and Rico acting them, which is a racketeer influenced corrupt organization, which is real. That's actually so parts of the movie where it will show reality. I mean, of course, you know, so in this movie, uh, it's all about that. Hey, how, how. How America and the movie just started locking people up under Rico acts and this, that, and the other. And these guys were extorting people and doing this, that, and the other. Well, then, you know, they, they sent them all to prisons and for profit, you know, to make profit. But they went to prison and they became a prophet, right? So it's about a guy who does that, right? And he's going to free the people. And he's going to get a lot of their convictions overturned. And he's going to get them set free. This goes for all the federal inmates and all, all the state level inmates too. But it's all federal. They, they usually do it at the federal level of a RICO Act. In this movie. So it's going to be a guy. Let's just call him Sam Groff. For, I mean, for, for shit's sake. In this you know, tentative movie idea. You know, it's a movie idea. But, uh. He basically comes up with this idea about how weird it looks. And in the movie, so all, he, he becomes a prophet of sorts. Instead of being used for prophets, he becomes a prophet. And the prophecy says he comes out and, and, and realizes that these church organizations are, are all against people and locking them up. So they come up with these injunctions and, and, and all kinds of stuff. So then he starts to think, like, wow. This is a movie. Wow. Uh, Rico Act. Racketeer Influence Corrupt Organization. Now, what if an organization that was corrupt influenced racketeering? So they would have been coercion. They would be set free. And if you take a look at it, all the people that go to church, well, you go to church, and what do they do? Hey, please help us, uh, you know, give 10% of, to the, well, that's a form of extortion. Uh, if, if they're asking for help. Uh, I mean, they've seen people get indicted in the movie. In the movie, people were indicted on that. So they were asking the neighborhood businesses for help, and they were getting indicted, thrown away forever. Now, uh, they give out mailings. Um, to donate to their organization. That's wire fraud, right? Or mail fraud? Mail or I don't know. I'm just saying. In the movie. And then they threaten their clergy with the th uh, deals of hell and punishment. Well, that's an attack. I mean, that is basically, you're saying murder. Like, that's an attempted murder. That That's a conspiracy. And then they gather in groups in the movie. And the church people gather in groups every Sunday. That's a conspiracy. That means everybody involved would be conspiring. So they realize that. And all of a sudden, the world's a viewpoint changes. And they go, and all the church people change their viewpoints because they're like, wow, it makes sense. Like, that makes sense. They, we could be all be arrested. We better stop. We better stop. And the convicts, the criminals, in the, they all begin to get set free, cases overturned. And you know what? They didn't even give, this is like the building up to the end of the movie. They didn't even give a damn to persecute the other ones. They didn't want to waste their time with them. They didn't even care. They gave them forgiveness and said, get the hell out of my life. Get out of my face. They put them away. Yeah, get away. You're not welcome in this arena. 
and they became the business owners of the world and the the do-gooders the ones that were loyal and, and and they had good hearts and they meant well and they helped to take over the entire planet now I, of course there's great more details for this movie ideas but i can't give you all the details now the great directors out there producers so forth samuel groff's my name if you want to collaborate on any more ideas well hit the like button guys down there get this video shared somebody's going to know how to reach out to these players that produce this stuff so this is going to be a, just an excerpt i guess you'd call it of idea number three on the movie countdown list i've been saving these ideas for many years um, this has been a lot of years of thinking and i'd like to always give thanks to the think and grow rich book Flynn hill great book gave me some good ideas and um i'd like to uh say thank you for that and i'll be seeing you guys soon eventually one of these movies is going to get made and it's going to be an eye opener and it's going to be a good great great creative mind at, at play so Think twice in the, in the end of the movie. Think twice before you join a church. <laughs> no, no, no. Anyway, just thank you. And um, go ahead, send a message. <laughs>